just being with the buffalo. They, they're a very smart animal. You'd be surprised what they, I mean, you'd think that for a big animal like that, they're dumb, but they're not dumb. They can trick you. You gotta, you gotta trick them to get them into the pens and stuff like that, or, cause they got their own mind. They do what they want to do. And so you have to trick them to get them to do what you want them to do. During the winter, we feed because we don't have enough land and all we feed is uh, grass, uh, hay. So they're, these are grass-fed buffalo and there's no chemicals or anything mixed in to, well, there may be a small amount outside of the salt. We're trying to purchase some more land over here so that we are able to keep our buffalo. We won't have to sell so many off. We can keep them and sell them ourselves. And hopefully, we, if we can buy the land, we'll be able to do that so that I won't have to be selling, selling them all the time. As far as your pastures, they can maintain the land, how they graze. They'll graze one area for a day and they move. They're constantly moving and they may come back to this one spot maybe a week later. Intertribal Buffalo Council. They They'll help the tribes that want that go and join. They'll help them with funding. So that's where most of our funding comes from, is from them. They'll, they do trainings to help to train the people how to manage buffalo, how to do fencing. And if you need help, you can call them and they'll come and they'll come down and help you. For us, it's the spiritual, and uh, the buffalo are very spiritual to us. And there's a story that goes with this. The story is that we were out, they were out hunting, and they found these seven buffalo, and they, they were following them. But they they would lose them and lose them in the ravines and stuff. So when they they finally caught up to him down by the river. Well, they, I guess they really didn't find them, they, but they found seven buffalo uh, chips laying there on, on the ground. And out of each one of those chips, there was a corn maze drawn. Mm -hmm. So that's how, that's how we got the corn. <laughs> so that's why we consider the buffalo so sacred to us is that it, outside of giving us everything else, the meat, uh, the bones for twos and whatnot, and the uh, skins for clothing, bedding and whatnot, that's, there's not a single thing that was left unused in the buffalo. They used everything that they could.